What's up you guys, Jenny here, and today's tutorial is gonna be on a very gorgeous, easy fishtail side bun. Super simple, all it really is is utilizing the fish braiding technique in a couple different areas and flipping it around and utilizing the right product. Let's get started. Okay, so for this, we are gonna focus on the right side. So this is where the side bun is gonna go. And it's really because she parts her hair over to the left to right. So it's just gonna add that little bit of drama factor. So I'm gonna turn her around and first things first is we're gonna go ahead and slip the hair in half. Now, she has um, a lot of hair. She also has a lot of extensions in there. So anytime you're working with extensions, you wanna make sure that you're not doing a perfect section because you might see those uh, extensions in there. So gonna kind of disregard the top area because we don't wanna see a split. But then down here, instead of taking a tail comb and making a perfect section, I'm just gonna use my fingers, making sure that the density is similar on both sides. A little bit more needs to be added to this right side. She has a lot of texture in her hair, um, one from products. So we used a texture mousse by Air and then blow dried it in and curled it. So that definitely helps. And she has some texture spray in there too. So the texture Air by Air. Okay, so now I'm gonna clip this left side away for later and we're gonna work with the right side first. So she has all these soft pieces around her face that we're just gonna kind of pull out to begin with. That's just gonna kind of add to our style. All right, so we're gonna do an on the scalp fish shell braid just at the beginning here. I'm gonna take a large section. And if you can imagine just kind of a diagonal forward section, that is our section we're taking. And the reason for it is because we're gonna pull all this back and we want it to be really seamless through in this area. So we're taking a diagonal forward here. So she has this extension, so we're gonna be very careful. So we're taking it at an angle and we're gonna over direct it back. So with that being said, we're gonna divide the hair in two sections at a diagonal back. And taking a section from the right, crossing it over to the left, a section from the left, crossing it over to the right. Now we're gonna work with smaller sections at the very beginning and then move on to larger sections. So now we've made a couple stitches. Now we're gonna go ahead and add hair to this. So I'm just gonna take a section of hair. I'm just gonna simply cross it over. We're not gonna add it to that right side. On the left side, nothing is happening except for crossing a section over. Right side, section of hair, crossing over. Left side, nothing is happening. continue this technique and over directing it to the center and then once we get to the center we're going to over direct it going down it's okay to leave these little bits out I think it kind of adds to our style since we don't have any more hair to add we're just going to continue doing a standard fishtail braid Once you get to the ends, we're just gonna simply secure it with a hair elastic. Now we're gonna gather this hair and we're gonna kind of over direct it over to the right and we're just gonna secure it with a hair elastic. Doesn't have to be tight, we want it to be looser. Perfect. So after we do that, we're gonna do a standard fishtail braid here. 
Dividing the hair in half, making sure that the density is the same on both sides. Then take a small piece of hair from one side, cross it over, small piece of hair to the left, the right, and continue down. Okay, once we get to the ends, we're gonna go ahead and secure it with a hair elastic. Now we're gonna go ahead and distress it. So we're gonna do that by using some dry texture air. And then each section, we're just gonna pinch and pull it, make it nice and full. All right, so we just distressed this. Now we're gonna go ahead and distress the top a little bit. Using a little bit of texture spray, big surprise. A little shine spray to smooth that cuticle down. And then holding onto the ponytail, pinch and pull little sections up to kind of bring back that little bit of curl and that volume. Now we're gonna work with the right side. So we're gonna distress it using some texture air. All right, so now we're gonna use some flexible hold air spray and we're gonna go ahead and spray this guy. And then we're going to just spread out that kind of fishtail top here. So if you can imagine just fanning it, kind of folding it, okay? Everything's gonna be on this side. So we're just gonna fold it in and then I'm gonna bobby pin that top section here into place. Her hair is pretty thick, so we're gonna use a large bobby pin for this. So again, just kind of fold it. Drape this across. Okay, we're gonna stop a little further than halfway through and then bobby pin it again on the top. And since everything's gonna be focused on this side, now we're gonna take the bottom here, we're gonna tuck in those ends and place it underneath that fishtail. Go ahead and look down. So taking a bobby pin and then just tucking that. And pull some hair out for softness. Perfect, so now with this fishtail, what I wanna do is just fold it and then tuck it and we're gonna distress it a little bit more. So pulling it out now, allowing some of those layers to kind of fall out, just to add a little bit more of kind of softness element to it. So now we're gonna add some flexible hold hairspray and then bobby pin it and we're gonna drape it kind of almost right below her ear here. Drape it across, taking our bobby pin, bobby pin into place. Kind of where my fingers are holding it is where we wanna put some bobby pins to anchor it in. Perfect. 
now we're gonna take the ends and just tuck it to where it kind of rests on her shoulder here. And then we're gonna bobby pin it into place. Go ahead and look down. So I'm gonna take the ends and right where the hair elastic is, is where the bobby pin is gonna go. So right before the hair elastic. All right, so now we're just gonna add a little bit curl here. Just kind of revamping the curl. Um, I don't wanna get too crazy with the curl because this is a very soft style. So I'm just adding a little bend, kind of in the mid shaft area, and that's it. I'm gonna go through with my fingers here. Kind of pull it out a little bit. I'm gonna add some spray shine at the end here. And the spray shine, what that really allows the hair to do is it smooths down the cuticle and it helps like any frizz and flyaway. So I always end my updos with some spray shine. So I use hairspray more during than after and then finish it off with that shine. And that is about it. That is our style, our updo today. Pretty easy. I hope you guys enjoyed it and I'll see you guys soon.